Hi there everyone, it's Jeanette here from Enthusiastic Gardener. As you can see, I am with my beautiful greenhouse and I have been shopping for things that I need for my greenhouse and for my new seed starting method. And I don't know if you have discovered the wonderful new game which I have found on my phone. It's called Buy It Now. So you can play at any time of the day and uh, you win loads of prizes. I do the gardening version and Richard does the golf version and I've also made it to level two which is called continue shopping and here are some of the things that I have been buying for my greenhouse and I have seen loads of um, fabulous videos a lot of them are growing seeds indoors with beautiful systems set up to grow lights and everything but I haven't really seen much about growing things in a cold unheated greenhouse which is what I need to know about because I don't have the space or the equipment for all that not yet anyway maybe next year perhaps I want to see how this goes so I want to do a lot of trials and um, I have even been experimenting to see what sort of heat I get in the greenhouse now I had two of these and I had one inside the greenhouse and I had one outside because I wanted to see the difference in temperature. So this one here, you can see, it shows at the top, that is the um, daytime temperature. The bottom one is the nighttime temperature and the middle one is the temperature now. So I had two of these, I had one outside, one inside, and I was comparing the two, writing it down, doing a little trial but unfortunately the one outside was just perched up on the side and one morning it was flat on its front in a pool of water, got filled with water, had to throw it away, it was dead unfortunately. So that uh, comparison had to end. But at the end of the day, basically it is what it is. I was just trying to see, does the greenhouse keep things any warmer? As you can probably see, lots of condensation, which does mean that inside it is hotter than outside. So when the cold air hits the glass, that causes condensation. Um, so yes, it has been warmer. It's been about two degrees warmer centigrade most of the time. That was my trial. But another thing I'm going to try is I have got the big plastic um, four pint and six pint milk cartons so i'm going to do another little trial i'm going to fill them up with hot water every night and i'm just going to put them in just overnight i think that would just raise the temperature or stop it dropping significantly so i'm going to try that as well which i haven't yet done because i have been um, waiting to get some cartons so that's a good trial that i'm going to do so we we'll keep that in there i'm going to ask Richard to just hang it up for me so I'll show you let me show you some of the things that I've been buying for my greenhouse so when looking at the greenhouse I saw at the bottom there seemed to be a bit more space and I thought to myself what can I do I need some sort of another shelf to just add so I found these these are little picnic tables and I ordered them. They weren't a lot of money. They come to maybe £17 for the two. They're lovely and sturdy. Little picnic tables. And I did measure them. And they are actually the perfect size. Just to put in the bottom. Just to raise it and make another shelf. So now I have three shelves each side and a perfect size and fortunately they just missed the electric yes so i've managed to um find space for a couple more trays now another thing i wanted i didn't want to um ruin all my woodwork so i bought these beautiful trays from garland you can get them online and these are just one-off purchases so I didn't mind spending a little bit of money just to protect everything and protect my wood and then when I water things it doesn't matter if the water spills out so I have these to go on every shelf
Okay, so the next thing I bought are these. Self-watering seed trays and Laura from Garden Arter recommends these. She says once she found these, her seed starting game changed. She highly recommends them. So of course, if Laura recommends them, they are what I wanted. So I ordered one just to see what it was like. It's absolutely lovely. So I have now ordered more. So I have got 14 or I will have 14 altogether, which is the exact amount that I can fit on my little shelves. So they'll fit on here and I'll be able to put two on each one. So I've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, and then I'll have another two there. So I'll have fourteen. Now, yes, it looks like I've spent so much money. I have spent a lot of money, but as I say, these are good things that I'm going to be able to reuse year after year. And I've invested in these. I've got some heat mats. And I've got two, I've got four heat mats. There's two in that box. There's obviously, I've got the electric. And then I could use these year after year after year. And I'll be able to do four trays at a time. So I've worked out all my seeds. Let me show you my seed box. Oh, I have a bag of vermiculite as well. I also bought myself a spray bottle for spraying the top of the seeds because you don't put the um, self-watering tray on until the seeds have germinated. Until then, you spray with these and some of them I might be able to put my vermiculite on. I've also bought myself a little watering can because I've only got great big five litre ones which are too heavy. Um, this one is going to be perfect, I hope. This is my lovely new seed box and I have filled it with seeds. I saw lots of different methods of storing seeds, all of which are very good, but I liked this one. It's from Amazon. It's just a photo box, which opens up and then you get all of these. And I have separated my seeds into when to sow them that's what I decided to do. So as you can see, I've put the dates when I can sow all these seeds. I even bought one of those little Dymo labeling machines so that I could do my labels. So in each one of these, I have four packets of seeds. So the cells that I have is 24. So I thought what I'm going to do is do on one tray, I will do 12 cell cells of one, 12 cells of another and the same again in the other one so that will use two heat pads as well so i have enough if those do not germinate because some of them it says it can take up to i don't know 30 days so i will be able to start two weeks later with my next set with my other two heat mats i hope that makes sense so that's really exciting and i've spent many an hour looking through the packets and deciding when to sow and it's all been very exciting. I did order all my seeds from Sutton's, which is a company in the UK and it's all new to me, but I ordered them. They arrived in really good time. I'm sure they're fabulous. Their seed catalogue is lovely, full of loads of good information. And um, yes, I think that's all I've ordered, which is quite a lot that I've ordered. I'm still waiting for uh, more seed trays to arrive so I should have um, another 13 seed trays coming. I'm really really tempted to start these seeds but it is so cold here it is zero and although the heat mats say that it should raise the temperature up by 10 to 20 degrees I'm still not sure that that will help it reach the required like 65 degrees Fahrenheit. Sorry, I keep switching from centigrade to Fahrenheit. Um, you can insulate 
the bottom of the tray as well it says so i did think i could put some foil on the bottom of one of those then put the heat mat on that could help i'm very tempted i mean these ones here they say strawberry you can sow from november round to march coleus you can sow all year round foxglove middle of january onwards and geranium december onwards so i'm very tempted but what i think i will do is wait until i get my other seed trays then i can do um two together yes i need to be patient but anyway, I thought I would share with you all my seed starting plans, which I am so excited. Obviously, in I did look at heaters for the greenhouse. I mean, it's so tiny, isn't it? I watched video after video of how to heat an unheated greenhouse for free because I'm not so keen on leaving heaters on for hours and hours. I mean, it's tiny. And I know that in the... Um, when we get to spring and when we get to summer it's going to be a whole different ball game anyway because it will be much warmer and i'll probably be saying that the greenhouse is getting too hot so i'm going to leave it here for the moment i'm excited got all my stuff arriving i'll leave it at least a week or at least until i get my other seed trays oh and also i have some a big big bag 25 liters of seed starting compost so i've only got a tiny bit now at the moment so i can't really get going and that's probably a good thing because i think it is a little too early but anyway i'm ready and as everyone says on their videos i do encourage you to order all these things because it will come to seed starting time and then you'll want to go and then you'll think oh, i haven't got things so i do encourage you to do that and also of course last year apparently a lot of the seeds ran out so you do not want that to happen anyway that's it from me for today i am ready for seed sowing and i hope you are enjoying yourself in the garden and thank you for watching take care now everyone bye